Do you remember back in November of 2020 when the UK stuff wrapped up almost immediately? Warner Brothers came out and made a big deal about replacing JD with Mad Mickelson. And we all know who that how that turned out for the movie. The movie Fantastic Beast 3 was a gigantic flop. Probably would have made a lot more money if they had kept JD in it. But there's not really much that we can do with this. We can't turn back time. The reason I'm talking about this is because literally two days after that UK trial wrapped up, Warner comes out and makes big statements and starts talking about this, and they replace him from Fantastic Beast 3. Now, what I find kind of confusing is why they haven't come out and said anything about Ezra Miller, who I would say is probably been he's he's got some pretty nasty accusations laid out before him now he hasn't gone through any kind of due process yet but man there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff on Ezra Miller right now and yesterday some more stuff dropped about him living with a 25 year old mother and her three children at some Vermont farmhouse where they literally have bud all over the place. Like, like it's, it's a, it, it's the main product they're growing on that farm. And then apparently weapons are all over the place as well. Not locked up, which they should be. I believe that if you have stuff like that, you should be responsible and you should definitely lock all of that stuff in a safe. I think that that's the responsible thing to do. You shouldn't have that shit just laying out all over the place. But he's got that. And then there's bullets all over the place. And allegedly, one child uh, was chewing on one. What is going on there? What is going on with Ezra Miller? Now, we do know the reports. Now, apparently... Ezra Miller is no longer going to be a part of any DC comic book film moving forward. But Warner still has yet to release any kind of a statement acknowledging what's going on with this guy. They haven't said anything. And that's that's what I really wanted to highlight with this video is they'll come out after after that stuff with JD and make big statements and all kinds of stuff and they'll talk about this but they say nothing about Miller, not a word, at least not publicly. There's been some leaks from insiders, but I mean, how much stuff, it, imagine if this has been anybody else. I want to talk about privilege, right? Imagine this has been somebody else that didn't have so many identity, identity protections, let's say that. Imagine how quick Warner would have came out and just thrown that person under the bus. I guarantee you it would have been real fast. But Ezra Miller has a lot of modern a, a lot of modern identity things going for him. And because of that, I do believe that Miller has gotten a lot of leeway because of that. If this had been anybody else, they'd already been thrown under the bus. I mean, we see stuff like this. Yes, Warner Brothers is aware that they have an Ezra Miller problem. But they haven't said anything about it. I just think it's hypocritical. Because they would have came out and said something way before any of this had went down, if it had been anybody else. But for some reason, uh, they consider Ezra Miller and Heard superheroes. Sit us on a live stream. Imagine having Henry Cavill... Henry Cavill wants to do more Superman movies. And you say, nah, we're going we're gonna to just pass on him and, and give Ezra Miller a multi-picture deal. <laughs> I, I, these people, so they had a takeover and most of them have been replaced. But the people, everybody that worked at, at Warner Brothers, 
particularly at DC Comics, they should all be fired and replaced. Th- those, these are the kind of decisions that they make. Ezra Miller has turned out to be a huge dumpster fire. So let's read some of these highlights here, just in case you don't know what's going on, because these latest, these latest allegations are some of the worst ones yet. Uh, Ezra Miller has been accused by a Hawaii father of putting his three children at risk after it emerged that they and their mother are living with Miller in Vermont. Miller, the mother, and three children left Hawaii in April, according to Rolling Stone, without their father's consent. The father says he is worried about reports of pot use, guns lying around, and his one-year-old child putting a, a bullet in his mouth. The mother says that Miller helped her flee her abusive ex and insists that Miller is helping her and her children to recover. Oh, I'm sure that he's the best person for mental health. I'm sure Ezra Miller is the best person to receive mental health from. Miller, who has a long history of troubling encounters with law enforcement across the U.S., has not commented on the Rolling Stones story. I don't know what's going on with Miller. There's been so much stuff that's come out over the past couple of months. And I think it's very, it's very apparent that Miller has some serious mental health issues. Serious issues. And I hope he gets help. I don't know if there's anything here that you can say, because it's not illegal to own firearms. Uh, it's definitely a bad look to leave them all over the house like that. That's really irresponsible. Uh, you should have a nice safe for all of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, it just, this guy is a walking disaster. And it's disgusting all of the stuff that's come out on this person. And, you know, I don't, I don't know. Miller's career in Hollywood is likely over after all. I mean, like who's going to trust Miller anymore with a million dollar movie? Like the, that flash movie is screwed. Uh, that movie, I, Michael Keaton can't save this movie. This movie is in serious trouble. Uh, they're going to have to end up, I, I don't think they should release it at this point. They should they should try and remake it with him out of it, but they're not going to do that. One of the reasons they're staying silent is because they want to try to save the movie as much as possible, and they're hoping all of this just goes away. But, man, it seems like every other week something comes out on Ezra Miller. Something new comes out like every other week on this person. It's never-ending. It's never ending. So they're probably just going to try to stay quiet. Though they shouldn't, they really should come out and make a statement. They're not going to do it on herd, but they should do it on Miller and say something. If they don't have any plans to do movies with him in the future, then they need to come out and say it. Because it's really hypocritical that they came out and slammed Depp, but they never have come out and said anything about this person. Anyway, who's worse? Who's worse, Warner Brothers? The guy who just recently got vindicated or the dude that's got a lot of nasty stuff going on? Let us know, Warner Brothers. Anyway, check out my locals. Link in the description. Great place. Great community. Uh, There's a link to my locals in the description. Come hang out over there. It's all free. Also, if you would, please share the video, subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed, hit that notification bell, throw a like up, comment below on all this stuff. Let me know what you think. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.